Hey, Rio here, and it is week two in our class. And I know that we got a, I know that for most of you, you got a really good start, and I'll talk about some of those details in a, in a few minutes as I go through kind of the weekly uh, list of things I want to make sure I cover. So I'm. Uh, this class has been really uh, a fun experience for me because of changing the format and because of seeing you, uh, meaning I've seen your post, I've seen who's here, and we obviously have a group of folks that have had some experience and we have some new folks. So what's cool about that is that we get to help each other. And, and I know that the folks that I know and that have had experience are generally really open to helping. So that's great. And so uh, let's go ahead and get through some of the stuff I want to talk about for this week. So um, one thing I had, I had a question somebody asked me, is GitHub experience required for this class? And the answer is it's not required. But as you can see in that first item, that it's definitely something that I had hoped you would come in with. And I get that because of the way we schedule things on this campus, meaning we offer 82, 85, and 93, and 94 at the same time, it's very logical that students take all these courses that we're offering together. And you know, it's like what we hope that students, the way they consume the, uh, the program and the classes is not really what's happening, but we're to blame because that's the way we're scheduling them. So just know that, it, and there are some, there's a, actually a group of you that are taking CIT 82, Introduction to Web Development, and you're getting the gentle introduction to GitHub. And for 93, we dove in first thing, um, first assignment. So I get that it was not required, but what was really and was my goal is that several of you reached out to me and, and came and saw me and gave you that extra help. And that's really what I hope to have you all know that is possible if you do need extra help. Okay, so having said that, I just want to be clear. Okay, so the other thing is uh, now on grading. So just know that every morning I wake up and depending on when I wake up, I actually will either go to the gym or I'll sit down and grade if I have time before I go. So I grade every morning. And what that means is if you've submitted the night before, I will generally catch it the next morning when I'm grading. And the one thing though I will typically start doing is that I will not completely grade it unless you've done all the replies. Remember some things I require require replies and some things I don't. So just make sure you're clear about if that is an item that requires it. And I actually have um, played with Canvas this morning because one of the things I've noticed is I may put a comment on your on that item that's that is not graded, but I've put a comment that says, yeah, this looks good, but I'll come back when all the replies are done. So I'm actually hopefully going to get those notifications because I had somebody contact me today and say, you know, I fixed that after you said something and you didn't regrade it. So that's something I'm working on. So if you see that you fixed something and I didn't regrade it, regrade it, reach out to me. The other thing is I do accept late work. Now I'm going to make an exception here that I'm not going to accept late work for our develop it's but for our the code ups and the learn togethers I do accept late work uh, it is discounted 25 percent so here comes one of the items I want you to actually in your reply talk about I've been thinking about this and that I'm trying to balance what we're doing with the learn togethers because if I continue at this same vein, meaning what I had you do, what I'm going to have you do, some of you have looked at it, some of you have not yet, what I'm going to have you do next week, week two, learn together, is actually take your concept and put it in the code style that we've learned in section two, sorry, section three. So I will probably, because if I continue to do that, then I have to think about, then what are we going to do for the develop it's, right? So um, I know I can make some, and maybe that's what we do, is actually say, okay, we're going to hit all these things, but then when it gets to the develop it's, I'll have some additional requirements for you to pull all those things together. 
So if you have some input here you'd like to give me about how we might do this, because there's definitely other topics for the learn togethers that we can do. I mean, there's so many that come to my head, but one that pops up is like Lenting. Uh, and the idea of using a style uh, from like the very common one is um, Airbnb, Google has one, and you can install a linter so that when you're writing code, it will actually tell you when you're not formatting it in the correct way. There's, um, there's pseudocode, right? So that's the other thing I know Jared had mentioned when he was first programming and Jared is in this class and he's been programming for a lot of years and he was talking about the importance of pseudocode. So maybe what we can do is pseudocode. So I'm kind of just looking for any input you have here about what you would like to see us do. I mean, I think there's definitely benefit to continuing to take the concepts that uh, the app ideas that you have and implementing the new functionality that we're learning each week. So, you know, what's your input on that? And the other thing is that many of you have joined the class chat, and I think that is another area that we can continue this conversation. I had some, you know, I can't even remember off the top of my head who it was, but they were talking about some of the concepts learned in that section and just clarifying. So, again, these are all good ways to learn because the idea is you want to integrate the knowledge that you're getting. Okay, so let me move. So that's the uh, that's kind of the class topics. The community topics I want to talk about is that some uh, actually Mark uh, asked me about this. So I'm going to mention that Pali DevFest uh, is on September 21st, and I have it here on the website. So uh, part of what I do outside of the classroom is I'm involved in the local tech community. And I help run both GDG, Google Developer Groups, Fresno, and Women Tech Makers, Fresno. And we do two big events a year. And our first big event for this uh, second big event for the year is coming up September 21st at Bitwise. And I am going to have a $5 discounted ticket for students because normally it's 20 so you guys get $5 off and I'll have those codes next week. I am giving a talk. Uh, there's a lot of good speakers here in Fresno. I talked to some of them last night. We had a planning meeting. So um, put this in your calendar. You'll hear more from me. I'm going to be giving a talk on machine learning. Um, and that should be, it's actually very similar to a talk I gave this summer where I actually implemented um, machine learning for rock, scissors, paper, which is probably why I'm doing the rock, scissors, paper stuff. So that's one thing, right? So the part of that hackathon, part of that's going to be a 24 hour, 24 hour hackathon that we're going to do starting the night before. There's going to be a $20 entrance fee, but there's going to be a $500 prize for that. So that's a fun thing. Hackathons are great because they really make you go deep fast and create something. So that's something to think about as well. And then I'm going to be holding a cloud study jam as part of my machine learning course. And right now that machine learning course is set to begin the back nine. You know, we talk about the front nine, the first nine, and the second nine weeks, the back nine. And right now that machine learning course is scheduled to be in the back nine on Tuesday, Thursday, because it's a four unit compressed class. It's going to be from 530 until nine something down at the hive so uh but regardless of what happened and i'm hoping that class makes i've been really working hard on trying to get enough people in that class but it's still such a new topic that folks aren't even really sure what machine learning is so if you want to know about that you might come to my talk during DevFest because i'm going to actually give um show some uh examples of what how you use machine learning as a web developer okay so but as part of that class, I'm going to be holding a cloud study jam, and that's going to be uh, an all night from 5 until 10, and there's actually going to be what we call tracks and that you can actually, uh, sorry, they're, they're not tracks, they're actually called quest. And if you get through the whole quest, there's actually a kind of a nice swag that Google's giving away. So, you know, that might be interesting as well. The last thing I'd like to mention here, if you have Netflix, I highly recommend a documentary called The Great Hack that explains what happened with Face, well, explains to the best of its ability what happened with Facebook and Cambridge Analytica and the 2016 elections. So I think 
it all, especially those of us in tech, understanding these issues at a, at a deeper level is really, really helpful. Okay. So that's my topics for this week. Um, again, in your reply, I've already said what I wanted to hear about. If there's any other questions you have, it'd be great. Um, I have released the second week learn together. I put out some code that I'm going to be uh, doing a, a next version of because I did a very simple version of that, but that was the intention. So my goal today is actually to start reviewing section four and thinking about our learn together. So your input is going to be helpful to me about that. So um, the last thing I will say is I am going to, because it is now close right after noon. So actually you could see what I, how I handle attendance, just so you know. So what I do is I do this, I go into the item and I close it for comments. But what that means is that you can still see it, right? So in case there's something that you ask me about that I go, oh yeah, hey, I cover that in week one attendance, then that will be there. And then as soon as I get through with this video, I'll post it in here, okay? So again, my process uh, uh, rest of the day is actually getting uh, started on this next section. And what's great is there's actually a group of you that have been already working ahead on the code up session, sections. And, um, you know, this is going to go faster depending on your experience. If you have very little experience, I definitely recommend taking your time, really understanding these concepts to the best of your ability. But that's also where we're giving you hopefully other experiences to help you really uh, integrate that knowledge. Okay. So I think that's it. Uh, I'll move back to the beginning and I'll just say thanks very much. And remember, I am down at the Hive on Tuesday, Thursday from 4.30 to 5.20. I've actually put something in the syllabus to talk more about, a little bit more about the Hive, about how where to park and all that. So if you want to know about that, check that out or, you know, put something out on the Hangout because uh, that's a great place. That's the best place, honestly, to ask questions. So if you're not on the Hangout, get on the hangout. All right. Have a great week and I'll talk to you soon.